caffeine. Is it good or bad? Eighty five per cent of USA population drink coffee. Three quarters of the world's population drinks tea, chocolate, energy bars, soft drinks, and many other foods and beverages contain caffeine. Caffeine is the most consumed psychoactive substance in the world. But what does it do to our brain? Within 20 minutes, most people feel more awake and alert. Caffeine can combat tiredness and improve concentration and focus. It can temporarily improve mood. It may reduce suicide risk in adults. It may boost long-term memory. It can stimulate hormone production, especially endorphins and cortisol. Some studies suggest that caffeine may reduce the risk of certain types of cancers. It may also protect against type 2 diabetes, Parkinson's disease, cardiovascular disease, and stroke. Caffeine can also improve athletic performance. But of course, Consuming high doses of caffeine can have negative health effects. More than 500 mg of caffeine a day may lead to Nervousness Irritability Restlessness Insomnia An upset stomach A fast heartbeat And muscle tremors up to 400 milligrams of caffeine a day appears to be safe for most healthy adults. That's four cups of brewed coffee or 10 cans of Coke. Kids should avoid caffeine consumption. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and visit our website at www.developinghumanbrain.org.